Hello, my name is Nelly and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about the Bitfinex wallet and how to do your crypto taxes on it with the help of Coinly. So I will run you through um, a little bit about the wallet itself, then how to integrate this wallet, how to import your trades into Coinly so it can easily calculate your crypto taxes, and then how to generate the necessary tax documentation. And of course, I will end it with uh, places you can take your questions and that's about it. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Alrighty, so the Bitfinex wallet was founded in Taiwan in 2012. I think this makes it one of the older wallets in the early 2010s is where, you know, um, the wallets, the, the big ones at least that are present today, a lot of them started around that time. So Bitfinex is a top 10 exchange by trading volume, volume which is pretty impressive um, considering just how many um, crypto wallets there are out there. It is a platform for more experienced traders with notable features such as margin trading, uh, limit and stop orders, and over-the-counter or o OTC trades, and lots more. So if you're kind of experienced and know what you're doing, um, you know, you're probably using this platform or at least considered it in the past. Um, it has also been hacked in 2015 and 2016, which has led to it, uh, the platform itself making significant improvements in security and everyone that's lost the coins or funds in those years has been compensated according um, to, to Bitfinex. So always keep an eye out for security with whatever wallet you're dealing with. It looks like these issues or you know these hacks are in its in its past and you know there hasn't been any um hacks in the recent uh, times which is you know fantastic to see and hopefully it stays that way all right that is enough about the wallet itself let's talk about integration so we are going to log into coinly this is our dashboard we're going to go into the wallet section add wallet bit finex there's a few very similarly named wallets so look out for that um, and there's two different ways we're gonna do it today. So one is with the setup auto sync, and then we're gonna go with a CSV file import. But let's start with, ni with nice and easy with the setup auto sync, which is recommended. And here first you'll see margin trades um, are only supported via CSV at the moment. We are working on API support, so keep that in mind. Okay, so jumping into the um, Bitfinex website, um, I'll start from the top. So here is the um, kind of home page in the top right corner. We're gonna type or we're gonna click the or scroll over the um, little icon here, go to security. And then from here, you can go into API. And then here we have uh, APIs, we have my APIs, and lastly, create my API key. So API key, um, grant external applications customized access to your account. API keys can be used to log into your account in uh, the Bitfinex mobile app via QR code to set up an automated bot which um, trade on your behalf or to trade pro, uh, programmatically on Bitfinex. So that's not what we're interested in today, but some extra information for those of you that might not know other uses for API keys. So please select uh, the permissions you would like to grant through your new API and then um, click generate API key button to generate your keys and a QR code that can be scanned. So um, I'm gonna run through this really quickly, but um, I think you don't have to touch anything. Um, Coinly is not interested in having any access to transferring funds. It's only interested in having history information so it can calculate your crypto taxes. But let's let's go through it together, I guess. Account information. So we wanna get, um, get account fee information that's on. Edit account history, that is off. Um, get historical balance balances, entries, and trade information, that is obviously on, kind of important. Um, get order and statuses, that's on. Create and cancel orders, that is off, make, uh, that makes sense. Um, get a position and margin info, that is on. Claim a position, that is off. Um, going into margin trading, get funding statuses and information, that is on. Offer, cancel, and close funding, that is obviously off. Um, get wallet balances and addresses that is also on and then you know towards the bottom we have transfer between your wallets that is obviously off and create a new withdrawal that is also off make sure that this you know is selected um, the way I have it on my screen and then we're gonna go into um, generate API key and it's gonna require a authentication all right so it looks like we're almost done here it just requires us to check our email to complete the creation of this API key okay so I've clicked on the email where it says um, you know create API key you'll see it in your email um, and here we have the API key we're gonna go back into coinly 
paste it and we have the API secret and we're gonna paste it here obviously um, store your API key somewhere safe uh, it will not be shown again so anyways we go back into Coinly and click secure import and there you have it so once the trades have loaded uh, they will look like this as you see on my account I have four transactions not too much just for demo purposes and I've dealt with XRP um, BTC and USDT Okay, for the second part, I'm gonna show you how to get your necessary CSV file. Um, let's find this wallet again. This time we're gonna click import from file. Okay, so we're gonna go into Bitfinex in, in the top right corner. We're gonna go into reports and it will take us to a brand new page. Here we'll click on uh, export and we are looking not for the account summary, we're looking for uh, the ledgers. Um, and for me, since this is a fresh account, I only have September 15th till September um, 29th. Um, for you, it might be slightly different um, trading periods. So make sure to import exactly how many trading periods um, are requested or required. For example, if you have, let's say, um, you know, a year worth of trades and you can export a file that has your entire year of trades, download that and import it into Coinly. If it's only per, let's say, four month intervals, make sure to include, um, you know, three different documents for each of those um, intervals. So anyways, we're gonna click export and generating your CSV file, we'll send it to you via email as soon as it's ready. So as you can see, that didn't take too long. Um, I have my file here and I can just click download CSV and it'll be a zip file on my desktop. So I've opened this file just for your reference for you, you know, so you can see what it looks like. Um, description, currency, amount, balance, all that juicy information is there. We're gonna take that exported file and we're gonna drag and drop it into Coinly and um, extracted file, excuse me. It needs to also be extracted, keep in mind, uh, please keep that in mind because they will send you a zip file. So anyways, we're gonna click import and just like before, we'll have the exact same, you know, four transactions um, that we had earlier. This time it, it loaded a lot quicker and the different currencies that I deal with. Okay, now for the best part of the video, the easiest part of all I would say is how easily, you know, Je Coinly generates the necessary tax report. So you can select which year you're working with here. Um, you know, I can, you know, I'll select 2021 for demo purposes. And here you'll see your transactions, your deposits, withdrawals, trades, your capital gains, all that information. And then at the very bottom is where you will select a plan that is ideal for your needs, depending on how many transactions you have, and you will select which tax document you would like to download. Now, since this is a massive exchange, um, you could be watching this from any part of the world with you know various different tax documents. So, just going over some you know some of the main ones. Obviously, we have lots lots of lots of other ones. Um, for the U.S., we have the IRS Schedule D Form 8949. You can also download the TurboTax online and desktop versions. For the UK, we have the HMRC Capital Gain Summary. We have reports for Norway, Sweden, France, Switzerland. And then lastly, you can download a complete tax report for Australia, um, Canada, Germany, or you can use that report. If you have an accountant, you can send it to them uh, and they can assist you with your you know, tax report for your, for your entire tax report and your crypto section, um, which would be with Coinly. But you can also invite your accountant to Coinly, to, to our platform. We are currently working on more content around accountants and how to set up your accountancy firm on Coinly, so stay tuned for that. And lastly, it's important to note that you can actually potentially get a tax deduction depending on which country you're in, because Coinly at the end of the, at the, end of the day is a cryptocurrency um, tax software, so it, you might be able to have a tax deduction and claim it as an expense, but obviously please look into that depending on which country you're watching this video from. And I do hope that you found this video helpful. If you would like more assistance, there's a few different platforms which I'm gonna leave right now. We have the Coinly Help Center with countless articles, um, you know, covering everything you need to know about crypto taxes. Uh, we also have a forum section where you can communicate with, you know, members of our community as well as our you know staff and then lastly if you would like you know hands-on support consider dropping us a message or sending us an email um, but if you enjoyed this video if you found it helpful in any way please consider dropping a like subscribe for more crypto content and i'll see you next time
Peace.